Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. 12 o'clock location, we have Kiko starting as the teal Terran, bottom left-hand corner. We have React starting as the red Protoss. This is going to be on Ascension, and it is going to be the final match, regardless, between Kiko and React. As the series is tied up 2-2. And this is BSL Season 14 Hasu League Semi-Finals. Whoever wins this match advances to face the champion of, well, I guess to fight for the championship and will take on whoever is the winner of Machine versus Tucson on the opposite side of the bracket. Now on Ascension, seeing both players' level of play at this stage of things, knowing that this isn't a map that's a little bit more or less played. I think I'm gonna favor Kiko. I think I might favor Kiko. I think React's got solid odds. It's obviously been a close series up to this stage. Usually I would say, if you can get economic leads, as we've seen React play out of well, you've got this high ground here where Dragoons can just assault the third over and over again. But Kiko recently, in an adjustment of his play, has been playing more aggressively. I would not be shocked to see him start applying pressure in this match. We'll see. Looks like he is opening up Barracks Refinery. Immediately, Probe Scout getting first scout on the three-player map. We see a gateway assimilator build for React on the opposite corner. Could go either way, though. I'm not favoring Kiko by a large margin here. React shown that he is capable of beating Kiko in heads up play. Probe trying to get some harassment damage done. A little bit of shield shuffled off. Three SCV immediately into gas. Barracks finishing. First sell is produced and on the way. Looks like Kiko is also going to get first scout. Zealot. Not blockading the gap, does get a shot. Kind of a side glaive onto that SCV as it's passing. SCV's able to confirm the cybernetic score. No additional pylon as of yet for React. So pylon in the back corner, a slight supply blockade there for him. Dragoon queued. Marine and SCV hunting down this initial probe. Additional Marines being produced. We have the supply depot alongside to be that gap to shoot. I kind of like the positioning of all this. To defend against this initial Zealot. The Zealot's making its way across. Range being upgraded for React. SCV's meandering its way back out to potentially get a scout down the line. V First Zealot. Making its way across an SCV blockading. Kiko wants to give no information than necessary to react. The Zealot looks like it's going to wait in the wings. Potentially to confirm whether there's a vulture or an expansion being set up. The Marine's not even waiting. Immediately moving out. The probe's taken out. The Zealot being forced back to the high ground third. Dragoon waiting at the natural, not able to stop the SCV scout from sli sliding in, confirming range and no second gateway. So I think he has good confirmation that this is likely going to be one gate into expand. The three Marines need to be careful that they're not overextending now. They've got some good base damage done on this zealot, but there's two Dragoons nearby and Kiko does need to preserve that early troop count. So the Marines crossing that median mark, gonna go ahead and pull back. It is a vulture first opening, so a single vulture with command center and bunker to follow. The vulture pulling off the two dragoons, which is actually fortunate for Kiko because of the timing with that bunker, I don't know that this would have been sufficient to defend. The vulture going to try to end around, maybe sneak into the main. It's going to be a foot race. One dragoon is going to be here to go ahead and plug that gap. So as the vulture angling about React makes it to home base faster in the foot race. Now Kiko needs to be, takes two quick shots. Ooh, and the high ground hits. 
The vulture at half health as it's making its way back across. Mines being researched and another vulture being produced. Now in previous matches, we saw Kiko just play very, very light on the early defenses. And I'm wondering if React looking at that replay, even though he's gone in into a one gate expand play, if he's gonna play a little bit more aggressively in the mid game. Natural expansion coming online actually ahead of React's natural expansion. So Kiko in a strong economic position. Putting that engineering bay out, already has that in place, potentially to deal with Weaver Tech, but it looks like it's going to be two gate, and I assume a Robo Obs, very safe opener to follow. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Weaver on the high ground, able to drop a mine that plants, but looks like it's gonna get taken out otherwise. The Zealot clearing that mine. Additional mines being planted in front of the bunker. Keep in mind, no siege tank defense yet. Those Dragoons not wanting to test that front door. Mine on the gap as well. No robotics facility. There's a robotics facility. For React behind this. Kiko with an overall worker count. Again, refusing to build siege tanks here. Just building additional vultures. He does have the third mine. The third mine at the third to go ahead and potentially delay that. Supply counts dead even, though, otherwise. I do worry about this style of... Especially on Ascension, of playing a little bit tank light early. As being able to establish that third base, particularly for Terran, can be a, pre a pretty significant factor. Armory being dropped, Academy being dropped as well. Second factory now online. Missile turrets being placed preventatively. However, there's no, and I think that is wise considering we saw React have that devastating Dark Templar drop. Observatory online, Forge, and Citadel of Dune about halfway complete. First observer taking the field. And this is kind of that dicey situation I was talking about. So the initial observers are coming out. Second machine shop's being plopped down. But you've got six Dragoons. And if React moves up, potentially spots that, hey, there's only two vultures to defend all of Kiko's natural expansion. He could capitalize on that. First siege tank being produced. Siege tech also being researched. I like the engineering bay floating position as well to maybe get a peek. First of all, it drops incoming, but maybe also see if troops are taking that high ledge position to go ahead and potentially create some harassment around that if that mineral only, usually that's not the base you're taking. Ignore that thought, usually here, but anyway. Dragoons and Zelts taking the field. Zelt leg speed being researched. Both players sitting back, back ring react with the slight supply lead, as you would expect out of Protoss at this stage. Two additional, three additional factories being dropped, which suggests with the plus one weapons on the way, we're potentially going to see that 11 minute attack timing attack, we'll see. Starport also being dropped to follow this up, potentially, with plus two weapons in rapid succession. It's also possible that Kiko is going up to the five factories just to make sure that he has sufficient troops to apply aggression and take that third. But usually this is indicative of plus one weapons move out. Mine's up on the high ground. Dragoon's going ahead and clearing that. A few vultures were able to slip through that gap. Kiko very aggressively moving up to the high ground. React pouncing on this though. So that is going to be a lost SCV. I think that was a cancellation. So some minerals are returned. But with those five factory down, Kiko very rapidly increasing the supply. But look at this, three vultures able to shoot the gap, get into the main. First of all, scouting the Stargate but also getting a good amount of probe kills. So decent amount of economic disruption. Plus one weapons just finishing for React. He's going ahead and trying to grab his third. But we got the siege tanks waiting in the wings. Plus one weapons just around the corner. Let's see if Kiko starts making moves. Two Dragoons are holding that gap. Four tanks making their way across, gonna siege and get initial splash on that first Dragoon. 
Hiko needs to be somewhat careful because there are these Dragoons on the left flank here. And I'm wondering if these SCVs pulled off the line are even going to join this attack. Otherwise, this is a... Yeah, it looks like going to join this attack to make it even stronger. So Kiko sweeping to the left, the vultures surrounding the Dragoons. Not able, I think that might have caught Kiko by surprise. Not able to drop a lot of mines. Plus one weapons finishes. One Dragoon dead, but I think React might have potentially stymied this attack. So with those vultures taken care of, another attack army moving up to the high ground. And yeah, now Kiko's starting to filter up, drop down, and take his third. Zealots and Dragoons nearby, however. Diving in. Zealots on top of the siege tanks already. But React going to go ahead and back up. Looks like we do have a dropship behind this. Plus two weapons on the way. Don't see a second armory. EMP being researched. Wondering if this is just Kiko's particular playstyle or if this is some form of new meta is go for that dropship. Be more delayed on that second armory. No second forge. First arbiter on the way, but React's troops mostly out of position. There are a handful of zealots at the natural expansion, but I don't know that he's wary of this incoming drop. This could be catastrophic damage. Currently, the worker count is dead even. There is a cannon to help defend. Two vultures looking to go ahead and drop in this corner gap. I think there's a bit of a pocket there to maybe make it happen, but a strong defense from React. I don't think he, he's got a little bit of delayed mining time, but I don't think he even lost a probe out of that. Scouting around, making sure Kiko isn't moving towards a quick fourth. Kiko just now saturating his third. So both players on three bases, usually when it's even bases and even gateway counts, that's going to be favorable for the Terran player in the mid game. First Arbiter taking the field, recall being researched, second forge being dropped. One saving grace here for React is, is that Kiko didn't drop that second armory. So the upgrades will be a little bit delayed comparative to usual. It looks like he was moving out to go ahead and grab that fourth. Kiko anticipating it has a vulture there waiting. So some Dragoon's going to be drawn back to go ahead and clear that out. But worker count even. Kiko with a supply lead now. Which is not what you want to see as a Protoss player. Third machine shop also taking position. And now React needs to make something happen. Dropping additional gateways. Thing is, is Ascension has a lot of territory to cover. Oftentimes if you do get drops in the background, you can get a lot of success with that. Additional factory being popped down. But... You need to make sure you have enough troops to make all of that happen. And right now, react down in supply. Trying to get his fourth up and running. Level two weapons now online for Kiko. I think Kiko just wants to go ahead and play the three base. I'm going to hit 200 play. I think I might have missed an attack at that third. Looks like there's just sufficient siege tanks to go ahead and deal with that. Might have been in like a self shot there, I'm wondering. Siege tanks just deciding to attack the bunker for the hell of it. What else are you going to do on the downtime? We've got, looks like a 10 gateway count with more coming. Second gateway being plopped on for React. Good map coverage. Kiko, though, not even sending out vultures at this stage. Still with the supply lead. And I worry about React's chances once Kiko decides to move out. Second Armory has been plopped down. It's actually ironic. I'm not sure that it's... Let's see if he starts level one armor in time. Science Vessel patrolling to the right to engage any Arbiter that might come in from that location. Some mines being cleared out. Looks like they managed to damage a handful of Dragoons. 
React looking to crack Kiko's defenses at some location. Preventative mines all over the place. It looks like there's even some tanks unseized and vultures waiting in the in-between ground to maybe go for an attack to defend. Observers getting ignored. Try finding good purchase where there weren't a lot of mines, but Kiko very rapid to react and have some defense troops spawning from the gateway and move in position. Defense matrix on one of the siege tanks. Double defense matrix actually on siege tanks here. Kiko with a fantastic defense to this recall thus far. And that army very quickly eradicated. That drop didn't seem to get anything accomplished. Didn't even... So got a little bit of damage on two factories. I don't think they even took out an SCV. Barely damaged some siege tanks. So basically cleared mines, and that's about it. There's also these... I gotta keep in mind... Keep an eye on these vultures. That could be an X factor down the line. Kiko taking down a supply depot. He's near 200 supply. After noticing that army get swatted down, knowing that level 3 weapons is right around the corner. Let's see if he starts moving out. I don't know that... React has the attack force to stop Kiko now. He's got a lot of supply, though in ground army to catch up with. Still has an Arbiter. He's going to go ahead and try to grab his fifth base. The Vulture is going to go ahead and spot it, take out the probe so it can't establish cannon defenses. But now Kiko staging up as he's approaching 200 supply to start bowling around and taking out bases. That is a lot of siege tanks. Control group and a half. Sieging before React is able to engage. Some mines are planted in the bottom right sector. Kiko, if he wants, can go ahead and take additional bases. But right now, it's going to be up to React to keep Kiko off balance and away from both his natural expansion and exterior locations. I'm looking for React to go ahead. He's got this gateway here, but I'm looking for him to plop down a lot of gateways at an opposite location to play that refugee style and have a defense mechanism. But he's going for another big recall in the main. Supply is locked, so factory units aren't going to be produced this time. Psy Storm over SCVs. Able to kill a few there. It was mostly an empty base at this stage. Mines still being pulled and dragged and with that army out of position it's taking a long time for kiko to get back and defend it looks like this time react able to chew into the infrastructure putting kiko into the red kiko responding with an attack at that inside three gonna go ahead and wipe out that base but this time a much more successful drop the armory that was upgrading level one armor was taken out but not before it completes So Kiko's going to have to pause, rebuild supply depots, and get his army back out on the field. There's a bunch of mines midfield. Some vultures finding some troops, able to pick up at least a high Templar, drop some mines, and do some additional damage along that corner. Dragoon's rapidly clearing out the middle of the map. Still some vultures, it looks like, in exterior locations, potentially as a threat to additional bases for React. Let's see if React is going to be able to handle that. And a very brave base from React. He's going to try to expand to the 9 o'clock location. Expanding into Kiko, just hoping he's not going to capture that. Another High Templar getting picked off. However, React slowly clearing these mines. Re-establishing control. Looks like he's going to retake that inside three. Siege tank not long for life. Able to get a few troops there, but otherwise a lot of this summarily getting cleaned up. React with the supply lead exactly where he needs to be. Grabbing all of the bases. His mains mined out. His natural expansion will be mined out in not too long. Kiko, and this is kind of my concern here. Kiko moving large troops towards the nine going to find a uh, base there, and it's almost like doing him a favor just as the Nexus finishes, so there's no cancellation. That's rapidly going to get wiped out. 
Almost a 400 mineral donation, it feels like, to the Terran cause. At the very least, it will slow down Kiko from taking his additional base. He's mined out at the main. His natural expansion also looking thin. Some vultures trying to sneak in and harass that inside three very quickly getting cleaned up. Dragoons and Zealots once again taking the field. Leighton Tank on the forward position doing some damage. Reactor's hoping to get a potential counterattack, it looks like, on those troops on the high ground, but not the best engagement location. An SCV just hiding, shaking in his boots, hiding for his life. React may be looking for a recall position. Has an Arbiter with plenty of energy and troops nearby. But he needs to think about the long game at this stage and getting favorable trades. Distance mining currently, a single siege tank working on that Nexus. Two Arbiters taking the field. Zealots going ahead and clearing out mines and everything along that right-hand side of the map so that React potentially can go ahead and in the near future take territory there. Kiko needs to land that command center. And React potentially looking to harass or at least bottle up and engage these troops before they're able to get a good spread position. And as I say that, it looks like he's going to go ahead and back up and seed the area outside of Kiko's base. Kiko maybe just hoping to contain Kiko to the upper left-hand quadrant while he expands literally every place else. Arbiter wandering in, landing an EMP. Second Arbiter, is he just going to straight up recall on top of these siege tanks? Doesn't have enough energy, so needs to wait a few seconds. Now has recall, recalling at the nine. It's going to force a liftoff from Kiko, react. Getting some good SCV damage and harassment. Kiko actually down to 40 workers and simultaneously a second drop. Second recall, I should say. Moving into the main to get on top of Kiko's main production lines. So the troops having to engage on multiple fronts. It's going to be a while before they can get back. And this is a great attack from React. Let's see if he can get some concentration fire on these factories. One factory already down. It looks like a second one going to be taken out. And this is going to buy React time chew into Kiko's resources. He's got to rebuild all of this, and that also is going to ensure that React has a, an army advantage as far as his ability to reproduce troops rapidly. Kiko realizing this is potentially a do-or-die situation with his troops on the ground is now moving out with all of his siege tanks. The thing is, is I, he's potentially hoping that this is an overwhelming amount of troops out of the 200 supply that React has that will be insufficient to go ahead and defend. But that's not that large an army that reacts dedicated to the main. So Kiko now, yeah, he might be able to take the, that inside three. But I don't know that he's going to be able to take out additional bases. Also, React looks like he's going to move up that left-hand side and maybe go for a counterattack into the 9 o'clock location. So attack the soft underbelly. Well, Kiko shows strengths in other locations. Moving in, two siege tanks on the defense. React can just A move into this. Single vulture moving up. There's only two factories right now of production for Kiko to reinforce this. The bulk of his army is still here at the inside nine. SCV's taking off and now Kiko in trouble. He's got one mining base left. That is very low on resources. React with a big supply lead can outproduce him as a stronger economy. But Kiko's not out of this yet. Still diving in. Dark Templar getting on top of siege takes here to the right. Three of them getting wiped out via friendly fire immediately. But React moving that troop that was at the nine o'clock location, sweeping it back down to engage the siege tanks. Big stasis of five siege tanks. 
And that stasis might be the nail in the coffin. As Kiko's remaining siege tanks are now surrounded by unfriendly troops. The command center is being repaired from below just to keep it afloat. And in the meantime, React going ahead and moving out. He's still got the six o'clock mining base. He needs to start taking additional bases just to make sure he doesn't mine out right now with a huge advantage though. Tanks pulling out of stasis. Probe eating a shot for I don't know what reason. That poor probe. But Kiko now in trouble needs to distance mine at nine. Is repairing that command center to potentially retake, retake that position. One saving grace for him, though, is that React has not expanded massively behind this because Kiko simply isn't in a position anymore to stop bases from going up. Still making use of vultures to go ahead and pick off some probes here and there. But regardless, React still with a huge advantage. Going ahead and grabbing once again, that inside three moving out with the rest of his army, potentially to pounce once again at the nine o'clock location. See if the factory count looks like we do have additional factories, but still just the two machine shops behind this. Which is going to keep that siege tank count potentially lower than it would be otherwise with three or four machine shops. Zealots now barreling in. Stasis dropped. Four siege tanks captured, but this is not a great engagement point for React. He's going to go ahead and back out, potentially getting overly aggressive there. Wondering if he's going to go poke back in at the nine. Also, oof, eating some troop damage and hitting some mines behind here. He's mined out at the six o'clock location, needs to get mining at additional bases. Just a step away from capping this, but because of the lack of resources and the additional bases... React now actually running into mineral problems. So where he was in a dominant position just moments ago, all of a sudden, Kiko finding ways to get back in this match. That costs in this game. That's got to be a huge frustration. React still with the big supply lead. Nearly fully upgraded. Just missing a single shield upgrade. Vultures waiting in the wings along that right hand side of the map to make sure react doesn't take additional expansions there but reacts still running into mines and his economy is if you look at just the raw amount of resources available to spend kiko's actually in the lead in that regard still a 40 supply lead though for react Another recall in the main, this time much less successful. Dragoon's dying. And now all of a sudden React is having very unfavorable exchanges, losing more Dragoons, and the supply counts are all of a sudden even. Kiko still has more infrastructure to rebuild. React still in a position to go ahead and grab additional bases. But React is slowly letting Kiko find ways back into this match. More siege tanks now starting to move out to the front. A potentially scary situation. Is React going to go for another recall? EMP lands there negating the possibility. Zealots now monitoring that upper three. But I still see no movements from React to go ahead and establish more than two bases. Kiko, in the meantime, starting to slowly move out with his siege tank force. And React running into an established tank line without stasis support. Big EMP landing on two of the Arbiters. Still landing a sizable stasis to the front of the siege tank. Psy Storm support behind. Vultures coming up. In delay, Science Vessel is there to provide detection support. But with that exchange, 
Kiko takes the supply lead. And React is now gonna have trouble filling his army back in simply because of a lack of resources. Kiko mining away happily at the three o'clock location, taking control of the middle of the map, which is potentially gonna open up the inside 12 o'clock base. More Arbiters being fielded. React's minerals dangerously low. Kiko keeping a very cohesive attack force. No stasis support with this engagement. Kiko also with the high ground. Now threatening React's inside 3 o'clock base. And this is an important base to hold because the 6 o'clock base is very low on resources. This is one of React's few mining locations. Kiko spreading the line out so that he can engage troops from multiple locations. The Arbiter's moving up, but they do not they do not have enough energy for a stasis nor a recall. So Kiko patiently pushing into this. React looks like he's managed to sneak a probe out to grab the three proper. Dragoon's now moving up to potentially engage. Single stasis of some Goliaths. Potentially a second stasis. But there's really good spread from Kiko's troops. Only catching two siege tanks and Dragoon's realizing that it is not a great engagement point. Gonna go ahead and back out. It's important to preserve troops. Kiko going to close the gap. Also sliding in vultures and a siege tank to the right hand side to go ahead and clear out that base. Reinforcements are cut off. React looking for a counterattack opportunity. There's only a handful of vultures and a siege tank at the nine o'clock location. So trying to be where Kiko isn't to draw those forces back. The siege tanks now retreating. Trying to get the high ground plateau over the 9 o'clock base. This is Kiko's last mining base. It is being lifted off and retreated. Siege tank shelling that 3 o'clock location. The inside 3 is gone. React getting a great stasis on the siege tanks on the high ground plateau to the right. And it is three Dragoons and three Arbiters with four Zealots underneath whittling down Kiko's SCV count and cutting off his mineral lifeblood. More reinforcements moving up for React. More reinforcements coming across for Kiko as well. Another huge stasis. Keeping these troops forever locked out of this fight. Kiko finally grabbing another base in the upper right. Dragoons waiting to take the high ground. Three siege tanks, two Goliaths there, however. And a science vessel to scout. React now going to evacuate. Neither player mining right this second. I take it back. No, now officially. Neither player mining and React calls it there. GG. Good luck in the finals. What a match. And I think that is the correct decision because he's got this troops. Once this becomes on stasis, Kiko has an overwhelming attack force. And React can't fill in his army. He has no resources left. Incredible match. Worthy of a semi-final. So we're going to see React in the final to potentially rematch against Machine. Or to take on Tucson. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.